Right, what's good, guys? So, question. Question I had was, Nigel, how do I build a physique like yours? <laughs> I'll repeat the question. Nigel, how do I build a physique like yours? Straight answer in one sentence. That is impossible. You cannot build a physique like mine. You could build a physique like yours. You're blessed with what you're blessed with, so you use that to your advantage. You can build a physique like yours. You cannot build a physique like mine. So everyone's an individual. Um, everyone has their own genetic makeup. You may build a similar physique to mine, but it's definitely not going to be exactly like mine because your genetics and the way you are, we're all unique in our own way. Um, so we've all had, we've all, we all develop differently. We all put muscles on differently. We may develop, some may develop it quicker than some. It depends on your genetics, right? So um, yeah, th that's an impossible, um, well, question. Uh, you could build a physique like yours. So don't use uh, your people you look up to. Use them as your, I don't know, your inspiration. Your inspiration to build a good physique. That's all you use them for. Their, their, their work ethic, their dedication, the time they spend going to the gym and training and building that physique is what you should take from them that inspiration but that inspiration be taken to build a physique that not looks like them i look like your favorite you know bodybuilder or whatever a boxer or athlete um you build a physique that you're capable of building a physique like yours build a physique like yours um and to b build a physique like yours that takes work it takes dedication it takes hard work it takes Consistency, sacrifice, sweat, blood, tears, as they say, it takes all of the above to build a decent physique. But it depends on how much you want it. So don't complain about the things that you didn't work for that you don't have. Don't complain about the things you didn't work for that you don't have, right? So meaning that if you didn't work to earn a great physique, don't complain about it come the summertime. Come the time you go on holiday and you take those photos and you realize actually I haven't been putting that work in and uh or don't come the come the time where you're I don't know, you may have an occasion coming up, a wedding, and you put your suit on and think, Oh my gosh, I don't look anything. That's because you didn't put the work in. So you can't complain then, right? So you have to put the work in. That's the thing. You have to put the work in. And the good the the, the, the great thing about building a great physique is that you can't lie, you cannot lie. Um you cannot lie to yourself, right? In that you cannot go to the gym. Or oh, sorry, you cannot go to the shop. Um, you cannot go to the supermarket and purchase a good physique. You could purchase a means to get a good physique, i.e. purchasing the right food at the supermarket, right? Your protein, your veg, your carbs, your good carbs, not your processed rubbish. Right? You could, you know, you could purchase it in that way, but you still have to put the work in, right? You still have to go prep the meal, eat the meal, eat it several times a day go to the gym, um, you know, or, or wherever you work out, you have to put the work in in some way, shape, or form. So that's the great thing about being, uh, doing this sports, is that you, uh, you know, someone that's in shape or being in shape, that's the great thing about being in shape is that you know that person, him or her, has dedicated themselves to a cause and uh, the fact that you're looking at them in admiration is testament to the fact that they've dedicated themselves to that cause. And I'd, I want that for everyone, right? I want everyone to have that feeling, you know, that feeling that if you walk into anywhere, a uh, shop or supermarket or whatever, you walk into a restaurant or a bar and people stare at you, it's not vanity. People look at you and they are... They look at you for the right reason, looking at you like, wow, that guy or that girl is, um, you know, obviously dedicated themselves to their craft, to their goal. They've stuck to something that that person themselves probably couldn't do. And that in itself is inspirational. 
celebrated your celebrity walking into these uh, <laughs> establishments because you've simply dedicated yourself to a cause. Believe me, I know it. I've seen it many times. You know, so um, how do you achieve this physique? You achieve it, like I said, by going to the gym, by eating, and by resting, right? All three. You do those three things and you cannot miss. It's not complicated. You see people selling stuff like supplement and this, and you're going to need to take this supplement and take this and take that. It doesn't mean anything if you're not putting the work in, right? So the supplement uh, that they promote and the supplement company is promoting X, Y, and Z, yes, supplements are great. And I'm sponsored by a supplement company called Val VOW Nutrition. If you go onto their website and put Val, um, go onto Val Nutrition and put my surname, St. Louis, all one word, and put 20 at the end, two zero, you will get yourself 20% off. That's a shameless plug for my supplement company, Val Nutrition. But, um, Supplements aside, you need to eat real food. Um, you need to have real food. So get up in the morning. Uh, first thing I always do is have a, a massive glass of water because you're dehydrated having slept for how long you've slept, six, seven, eight hours. You need to rehydrate. So have a, a massive glass of water, electrolytes. You need to rehydrate. And your first meal, depending on what you're doing, um, if I'm in my off-season or even when I'm prepping for show, my first meal would be a protein-based meal. It would be eggs, for example, um, or, or, you know, depending on where, I'm, where I am in my prep, it would be oats in the morning with eggs. So it's always a carb source with a protein source. Um, my second meal would be three, two to three hours later, about three hours later. It'd be a, a, a meal similar to chicken breast and, and potato with veg or steak and potato with veg or uh, fish and rice with veg. Um, it's all uh, portioned out. It's not, you'd be amazed um, how, how the amount of calories, you look at your plate and you think oh, it's not that much, but the amount of calories if you keep adding stuff to your to your meals you add your spices and this and that and, and ketchup and, and and it's just adding extra calories to your meal so if you could have your meals i'm not saying have it bland or dry add something to it but portion size is a huge thing is a point i'm trying to make portion size is massive so if your portion size are too big you never always find that you're not losing weight there's calories in versus calories out right calories in versus calories out so if you're if you're burning less than you're consuming, if you're burning less calories than you're consuming, then you wouldn't lose weight. You will never find yourself in a deficit. You need to create, you need to get yourself in a deficit if you're trying to lose weight, right? Um, if you're trying to put, put on muscles, then you have to be eating slightly above, but you have to, uh, you're, well, you, know, you, you, you have to be eating the right stuff. You have to be eating the right stuff. Um, you know, so always, always remember, simplify it, make it as simple as this. It's calories in versus calories out. If you get that right, you could build muscles and you could lose weight whilst, whilst holding on to your muscles, right? When I'm in diet mood, I know I'm going all over the place. So I'd get back to the diet, what I eat um, in a bit. But when I'm in diet, dieting mood, I'm trying to find the right balance of losing fat and retaining muscles. Now, that's not... Cool almost an impossible thing to do because at some point I will lose muscles. But for the most part, I'm trying to eat as much protein as I can to retain as much muscles as I can. And that's the key. That's the key to the whole thing, right? That's the key to, you know, well, bodybuilding and holding on to muscles, right? Keeping your protein content fairly high. Um, you know, so don't overcomplicate it. So that's my second meal. My third meal would be something similar to my second meal. It's pretty bland and boring, guys. Yeah, I know. It's pretty bland and boring. Uh, I can't dress it up and make it look sexy to you because, it, because it's not. It's, um, but I, I've gotten used to it over the years. My taste bud has just about disappeared. <laughs> uh, no, I do have, you know, in the off-season, I have a KFC now and again. I very rarely have junk food, uh, but, but, you know, hands up. I do have uh, once in a blue moon, I'd have something and I'd have a... You know, I couldn't tell you the last time I did have a KFC, but I do have it now and again. I do have a pizza now and again. You know, I don't, I, you know, I don't, but I'm in control of my diet. I'm in control of my physique and I'm in control of what I eat is when you, when it becomes, um, 
a necessity for you when it becomes you, you crave it like you you can't wait you get home from work and you can't wait to have it that's when you know you have a problem because processed food is addictive sugar is addictive right sugar is more addictive than crack cocaine allegedly people here i've said that to people many times they laugh no seriously sugar is more addictive than crack cocaine so so be careful and be mindful um of the amount of sugar you consume I and mean, it's not good for you um it's not good for you so back to the, the the diet plan that's meal number three meal number four would probably be a viral nutrition protein shake so i'd have a protein shake right um meal number five again would be so maybe similar to meal number uh, two and three you know, but it could be uh, my, my protein source are generally fish, steak, um, chicken breast, turkey breast. Uh, occasionally you have a bit of lamb, but lamb's quite high in fat, though it's a very clean meat in the sense that it's not lo- unlikely to be injected with crap. It's a lamb at the end of the day, so it's a clean meat, right? Um, it's, it's, it's quite high in fat. So when I say, say to people sometimes it's clean, they think, what do you mean clean? The clean as in, you know, no, it's, 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 it's quite high in fat lamb. But it's a clean uh, meat source in that chicken and all these other meats sometimes injected with stuff to make them grow <laughs> from a chick to a chicken within six weeks. And, you, you know, you put it in, a, in, a, in your grill and the chicken breast that look like that becomes like that because of all the water that's saturated in it um, and from all the stuff they've, 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 they've put in it. You know, so um chicken is nowhere near as clean as lamb um so when i say it's a clean source meat source that's what i mean um so yeah my protein source doesn't um it's, it's quite limited to be fair um a lot of eggs a lot of fish a lot of uh salmon sometimes you've got mindful salmon is quite high in fat as well but it's good fat uh salmon uh white fish turkey breast um chicken breast uh that sort of thing that's generally what my protein source um, generally are. So yeah, um, and my carb source, again, it, it doesn't sway too far away from uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, normal white or jacket potatoes, rice, sometimes pasta, but I find pasta too, my body takes too long to break it down. So I stick to what I know, which is rice, brown or white rice, potato, you know, that sort of thing is my carbs and oats in the morning. That's another carbs that I love. I love car- um, oats because it's nice. Um, yeah, so um, it, it's, it's pretty much simple. It's not, uh, well, I say simple. It's not as complicated as you uh, uh, people make it out to be. So you're, that's, that's, the, that's the eating side of it. And that's eating off-season and during prep, all right? So it doesn't change much when I start to prep. It's not like a drastic change. The, the biggest change when I start prepping is the calorie amount, the amount of calories I'm consuming. That's the only real change, the amount of calories I'm consuming. It's uh, regulated. I know exactly, almost, almost to the T, how much I'm consuming on a daily basis. You're quite meticulous with it because, you, you know, to make adjustments, you know, if I've realized I've gone a week and I haven't lost enough or I'm, I'm losing too much, then I have to make adjustment to that diet, right? Whether I, whether I take it up or take it down. So I, therefore, I need to know how much I'm consuming. So that's the only reason. It's a bit pedantic. And like I said, it's a, it's a bit um, OCD, um, as they would say. But to be a bodybuilder is extreme. It's almost it's OCD being a body, bodybuilder. Most bodybuilder, bodybuilders, bodybuilders will tell you it's, it's, a, it's a form of, of OCD. You have to be meticulous in everything you do. Um, so that's, that, that's, that, you, whatever it takes, you know, if you, if you want it bad enough, you would do whatever it takes to achieve it. So, so that's it, uh, really, um, you know, there's not much else to it. And with that, I'm going to sign out. Um, I've taken another 15 minutes of your time. Um, I beg you to like, uh, subscribe. That way I can keep making more contents. I could start getting more than 30 views a video, <laughs> which is what I'm getting at a minute, despite having 3.72 thousand sus- subscribers. I'm um, not sure what's ha- happening with the algorithm, but hopefully YouTube helps me out and get you guys clicking and liking and commenting, whether it be negative or not. If you disagree, let me know. If you agree with what I've had to say today, let me know. Check out my brand, Black Stakes. Uh, wearing a t-shirt today you can't really see let's see if you can see there you go black sticks there you go check us out online anything you need to know send me a message 
I'm on virtually every social media platform. I do my best to get back to everyone. And with that said, 15 minutes into this video, I'm going to sign out. Uh, see you in the next video. And if you want me to, let me know what you want me to talk about next. Any, anything, just put it in the comments and I'll address it. I'll get back to you. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.